Hello and you are very welcome to this video. This is our second video lesson on the topic of market failure for IB economics. So what we're going to learn in this video is we're going to learn about what marginal benefit and marginal cost is, show where they are in a diagram and explain why they are shaped the way they are on a diagram. So firstly, to think about what is marginal benefit. Well, we know already marginal is a word that we use in economics to describe, what does the use describe as? Extra. So another word for marginal is extra. Benefit, on the other hand, what do you think benefit might mean? Well, benefit is, of course, the, you know, something you benefit from or something that you do better from. So it's the extra thing you do better from. So the extra additional benefit received from consuming one or more, one more unit of a good. Marginal cost, on the other hand, is the ex well, marginal again is another word for extra. So cost is obviously when you have to pay for something. So it is the extra or additional cost of producing one more unit of a good. So take a moment to take note of those, marginal benefit and marginal cost. Those two are two important definitions that you need to know. So let's show what marginal benefit is on a diagram. Well, it is indeed the same curve as a demand uh, as where the demand curve is. Now, why is that? Well, we know already consumers buy goods and services to maximize, to, sorry, to satisfy their needs, or in other words, to maximize utility to get the most satisfaction that they can in their lives. The more you consume of a good, well, the satisfaction of the benefit you receive from that declines. And we saw this already when we looked at the law of diminishing marginal utility. So the more you consume of a unit, the less enjoyment you get of that unit, unit the more you consume. So therefore, uh, with the same logic, the more you consume of a good, therefore, your satisfaction or benefit declines, and therefore, we would have a downward facing curve. So if we look at our marginal benefit curve there, if we, produce, if we enjoy, uh, enjoy one good, uh, Q, uh, QA, when we produce a second unit or more units of QB, our benefit's declining. So when we get down to QE there, we've got even less benefit again. As the benefit you receive for each additional unit you consume declines, so too does your demand for the product, which makes sense. Because if you're no longer getting the same enjoyment for the product, well then you're not going to buy as much of it anymore. Simple as, you're going to buy other goods and services instead. This is why the demand curve is downward sloping. You'll only buy more of a unit if the price falls as you do need it to gain more satisfaction or more benefit or more utility. So that explains why our marginal benefit curve is downward sloping. Now let's look at our marginal cost curve. Now we know already our marginal cost curve is the same as our supply curve. This is, and we know already the supply curve shows how much the firm is willing to produce at various prices in a given period of time. So the lowest price the firm is willing to produce at must be enough to cover its costs of producing each extra unit. In other words, the marginal cost. So in other words, a firm is not going to bother producing a good if they're not able to cover their costs. Um, they need to at the very least be able to cover their variable costs for them to be willing to actually produce the good. If you're going to make more goods, well, you're going to have to be buying more variable costs. So therefore, as a result, they're going to be producing, um, then you're going to need to their costs are going to be increasing each and every time. So that's why the more goods are produced, the more the marginal cost increases. So if you can imagine from QA to QB, there's more cost in producing more QB, therefore the marginal cost is increasing. So folks, in this video, you've learned what marginal benefit or marginal cost is, and you've shown where they are in a diagram and why they are shaped the way they are. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? And if you want to see more wonderful, interesting and intriguing content like this, why not subscribe to the channel as well? Thanks very much for watching, folks. Bye now.